y'all. Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Me and Andrew decided we'd come down here and see if we could find a fish that wanted to bite. So we brought some crappie fishing gear and we brought some grunnel fishing gear and we just gonna see what happens. So mainly I got me a new coffee thermos because my Stanley really wasn't keeping my coffee hot. Woo, that'll take your hair off your tongue. That right there, Yeti will keep it hot. So anyway, we're going to see if we can ride around. We done fished this hole right here. We're going to ride up the river on the road and see if we can find another hole that they'll... And we're going to check two or three holes, I know. We may not catch a fish, but hey, we're going to enjoy the day. So y'all hang with us, and let's see what all we can get into today. <laughs> Y'all, this is carp in here. We call them suckers. I can't hardly get them on film, though. And when I zoom in, I can't see them, so. I see one. I'm sure you're wondering why I ain't filmed no whole bunch of fishing so far. I ain't done nothing but caught a little old bass this long and I had to take my my boots off and wade out over knee deep to untangle them because I had thrown my bait over a limb. And I spent the most of my day tying new baits on. So it's a good chance y'all sent me a big sack of these jigs cause we running through them pretty swiftly. I don't like it, but it's just a reality. So. Andrew did catch a brim haul ago, so we ain't on a complete bust. Oh. I don't know what I want to use. Well, I think I'm going to try this Mayfly. I'm just... And the wind, y'all. I'm sure you hear it on there. It's howling now. It's blowing hard enough. You, you gotta you need your hat. You need a chin strap. We're gonna try again. I'm fishing with this this pole right here. This is y'all's favorite pole, telescoping pole. Oh, uh, we're gonna see if we can catch something. Hang with us. All that wind, tough. He's the one got it made, y'all. Look at him. Just living a dream. Y'all, I'm fishing with this braid line 
and I'm going to be honest with you, at this point, there's some pros and cons. I ain't never had a line that got tangled up this bad. Every limb you touch around the end of the pole, I mean, it is famous for getting tangled up. I had to wait out there because usually if I throw a line over a limb, I can swing it up there and then when it swings in, I can make it come undone. This, no sir, it wrapped all around, twisted up, was in a knot so you could spit straight. What you got? I don't think you got anything left. Me and Andrew, we've caught a lot of fish sticks today. Y'all like them? You can buy them at the grocery store. These are a little solid, though. I don't know. I've boiled them pretty good, and they don't ever get tenders in in the grocery store. But we catching a good many of them. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, the crappie ain't gonna act right. Brim ain't really acting right. Whoa, let's slide down here and see if the ground will bite. So I got a crawfish on right now. Oh, I just had one right up here at the bank. Hang on now. Hang on, we hang on Grimmel, it's gonna get exciting, I'll tell you. Cause I'll be frying him up short. Uh-oh, uh-oh, y'all. Here we go. Oh, I missed him, I missed him. I had it, y'all. It could have been a pass, y'all all right y'all it's on baby oh yeah oh yeah we got him Woo! look at him come on baby stay on me stay on there with me yeah baby Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah i knew we was gonna make it happen y'all let me turn y'all down where you can see <laughs> Success, first grindle of the year. Let's try these things out, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what y'all wanted to see right there. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Still in February. Somebody said, well, grindle bite in cold weather. Yes, they'll bite today, but it's T-shirt weather now. Let's put them in the cooler. <laughs> well, we we put the jig poles up now. We we through with that. Oh, get y'all up here a little bit closer. Get this bait out of his mouth. We already got water in there. Shut the lid. He'll get out. <laughs> That's what we hit him on, y'all. He couldn't stand that little crawfish. All right, y'all. We got Andrew rigged up with, with a crawfish. We finna see if we can put another two in the cooler. Pulling a little bit, holding it still. I ain't just doing a lot of moving. 
when he hits it, you'll feel so doom. And he didn't hit it hard that time. In fact, I kind of held pressure on it, to, and I wasn't. And when you feel it, I give him some slack, and let him run with it a minute. Yeah, once you see that line's moving, you know then it ain't a log, it's fish running with it. Uh oh, here we go, y'all. Oh, we all, oh, I lost him, y'all. Dead gum, I barely felt him hit over there, y'all. Ah, I didn't let him run long enough. I mean, I lightly felt the tail. It was sitting on the bottom over there, and I just felt too. Yeah. They not real on today. Right back in there, though. You take it when you do it tight and just pull it about a foot, let it sit a second. And then just ease it about another foot. I think I saw it on my neck, follow my do yard. Mm, I thought I had him. I don't know what that was. It may have been a bat. If whatever it was got one of the legs off my crawdad. <laughs> I knew I had some hit, y'all. I lost a leg. I got to throw two or three more times over here, though, in this deep puddle. Slide down here. Like old boy from them pigs on real good road trips. They got off in them pigs, and man, that dog bait pigs is running everywhere. Old boy looked around the camera and said, We up in here, whoop them. <laughs> he couldn't talk plain. They had pigs running every direction. The dog didn't know what to do. This hole right out here, though, deep. Man, this thing right here will throw a long way. It'll be a team move pole. I'm going to have to tell you. I'd really like to bow up on one with it, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be the tail of the right there. Yeah. You didn't know what you had then. Uh oh, I may have one right here. No. What am I hitting over there then? The same thing. Y'all, Andrew did get a bass. We ain't just wearing them out today. But we are catching a few fish. You can put do whatever you want to with them. Throw him back or put him in the cooler or whatever. He's your fish. <laughs> I think they already fried catfish. I think we done missed the cooking, but we got this problem. We like to fish, <laughs> and we got the gruntal, so they can't need him without us. <laughs> Our food will still be there when we right. get there. That's right. They can't eat it all. And if they do, we got the gruntal. Play with that. Play 
like with it. Oh, we testing this old line right here. Hmm. I don't know what come loose, but it come loose. I believe I got my baby back. I mean, it's like it was. It has just impressed me. I bowed that hook out. Do I feel ever? What in the world? I don't know, but I ain't been hanging. Well, sir. Y'all, I done broke this line right here, and it went off like a 22 rifle. I mean, the pow! So, uh, that's some stout line, I'll tell you that. I hadn't made my mind up if I like it yet or not, so verdict's still out on that. I'm gonna go ahead and rig this back up, and then we probably fixing the head in, because... The family is cooking fish. They got catfish fillets. Now we probably gonna go fillet this grunt and throw him in there amongst them. We'll probably have to fire the grease back up when we get there, so. We're a good ways back in here. Oh. We probably got a 15, 20 minute ride back out of here. So, you know, the Timu pole, I really ain't caught nothing on it yet. I'm not going not gonna to go to make no verdict on that because uh, I've, I've got to catch a fish before I sit here and say it's good or bad or whatever else. But that line, I'll say, I'm, it's, you know, I'm quite impressed with it. I do like that rod dip, so let me collapse up the other little low pole. Poles squared away. I done woke that big bad grinnel up. He was in there taking a He back. he is not the not a giant one, but now we glad to have it. Decent size. Let me see. See ya. Get all y'all. It's ordeal. Roll up all your stuff.
They run in line. Somebody coming up a river in a motorboat here. You ain't bothering us. We headed out. <laughs> We caught one grunnel. But they frying catfish at the house, so we gotta go get, eat with them. <laughs> Y'all, here's a legendary Kevin Robertson down here running limb lines. Didn't even invite me. <laughs> I did. I seen them over. I knew exactly who they was. Have you finished up in this bin on up here? Yeah. Probably. You caught any up there? I just put hooks out here. I cut logs that way. Almost beaver slew. Well, those, I, just, I didn't know who was coming because somebody got a boat they put in down yonder at the uh, where the creek runs into the river down there. But I, I don't see them coming this far up. They camped out, they got the long carriers, everything. You hadn't been up to here? Mm -hmm. They couldn't get here. Really? No, I hadn't had a boat in here and I couldn't tell you when. Come on. Y'all, he done got him a nice fish over there. Y'all just got to see a professional at work. Man, yeah. Well, we headed out, headed to the house. Glad y'all got to see us. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. Y'all have a good one.